Hey everybody, it's Natasha, the Canadian witch. Uh, this week the topic is uh, coming out of the broom closet. It's something that most people have to go through as a witch. Um, I personally, I never really had to come out of a broom closet uh, in my family. Uh, pretty much, um, well, not all, but a good part of at least my mom's family, we we either do magic, uh, I'm a Wiccan, there's multi different religions within the family. Um, we have tarot card readers, we have, um, I have a aunt that communicates with angels and there are so many things that it was never something taboo in the family so I never had to worry about that um, and growing up I never really hid it uh, if I was asked I would say it I wouldn't hide it um, then when I got older, but I could afford, um, let's say jewelry, like an, a necklace or rings with pen, pentagrams on it, uh, or Celtic cross or anything related to, um, this world, let's say, uh, I would wear it. And if I was asked, I would answer again, but I never really had to come out and say, yes, I, I'm a Wiccan, I'm a witch. I, I never really had to do that. Um, in school, I was bullied, so it wasn't a place where I talked about it because being bullied for no reason at all was already enough. I didn't want to add to it. But let's say it's the only time that I could say that I didn't talk about it. So for me it was really really easy. Uh, even jobs I would have my jewelry and then I got lucky because most of the jobs that I've had in the past, either there were witches or Wiccans working with me, or they were um, my boss. I had two places where I worked that uh, my boss was uh, pagan, so I was even able sometimes to get um, times off for Sabbaths. Uh, that was really cool. I never had to ask for it. Um, but what it makes me think of to come out of the closet is how difficult it can be for someone who's in a um, strong belief family. Like a, for example a Christian family. If you have to come out it can be, I guess, as hard as coming out as gay. Um, so I can't even imagine a gay witch or gay Wiccan, let's say, or having to come out two times for different things. I can't even start to imagine how it must be. Um, I'm lucky I didn't have to go through that, but I feel for my fellows that has to go through that. Um, I can't really say what to do to come out, because I didn't really have to, so I don't have any experience of saying how to do it easier, but I, I guess um, if I could give an advice that you have to come out. Um, first, if you're a minor, it's 
it can be different than an adult. So let's say you're, uh, I don't know, uh, 15 years old and you announce to your family that you're a witch, you do witchcraft, or that you come out about a religion other than theirs. Um, well, the religion, there's not much they can do about it. Um, you just, I guess, uh, do it in private. Um, as far as magic, if your uh, parents ask to uh, stop doing it or something, um, maybe wait until you're um, an adult, 18 years old or 91, uh, <laughs> 18 or 21, depending where you live. Um, as an adult, uh, you don't, when you come out of the closet uh, or broom closet, whatever, there's nothing they can do about it. You're a grown person. You can make your own choices if they're not fine with that. If you live with your parents, it's up to you. You can either move to uh, do what you want or uh, stay at their house. Let's say you're a young adult living with your parents. Well, maybe practice somewhere else unless you you have a parent that is um understanding i i hope for everyone to get a understanding parents and family and friends uh i didn't have that problem like i said but it's my wish for everyone to not have to worry about the coming out and being rejected because of that so that's my take on it uh i'll see you next week take care everybody let's be bye